Hello, welcome back to the kitchen. Earlier we made a salad. Well, we didn't. He did. <laughs> she ate it. He made it. But now let's move on to the main course. Neil Kearns from the Castle Knock Hotel and Country Club has stayed with us. Lovely fresh ingredients used in our Niçoise salad. Yes. What's for mains? Now we're going with a bit of pork belly. Uh, there's a good bit of work involved in this, so um, pretty much this sort of dish Do you want to is, to work? absolutely, I'm going to get you to <coughs> peel some carrots for me. So this was a good idea at the time when you came up with the menu, and now the realisation oh, right. of making pork so belly, six minutes. This lad it. is pretty much 24 hours in advance, we're going to take the pork belly. Um, if you get the butcher to basically take the bone off for you, we'll keep the bone, we'll use it as a trivet. In here I have a bit, if you can concentrate that, thanks. So we have uh, sugar, salt and smoked paprika in here. Oh, right? okay. This is basically, we're going to cover the whole pork in it. Okay. And we're going to cover this lad as well, the trivet. Right? Nice trivet. That's trivet. loads, thank you. Nice trivet. Oh. Right, that lad then cling filmed 24 hours into the fridge. Okay. Um, when you take it out of the fridge, is that all soaked in? All soaked in, and you're going to wash it off, right? Okay. So you wash off the salt mix, and you can see pretty much it's started to cure the salt and the sugar. Mm -hmm. and That's all right, putting water on, on the pork. I've heard not to put water in chicken. Oh, no, it's kind of, no, it's, it hasn't been cooked yet, so it's completely wrong. Oh, so right. wash the whole, wash okay. all the salt, otherwise it'll just be far too salty, right? Mm -hmm. um, that lad's ready to go. Into a tray, we have a bit of onion, carrot, herbs, using, and then your bones will go underneath as well. Pretty much as you cook that, we're going to braise it in a little bit of cider. No. So pour the cider sure, straight yeah. over, and this is an ambitious recipe, isn't it? Sir? Yeah, but these are kind of they're kind of natural bedfellows, pork and cider, Absolutely. pork and apples, isn't it? Um, then into that a little bit of grease proof. I love this kind of cooking on and wrap it in, in, in tin foil. Way. And then that lad is going to go into the oven on a low heat, about 140, 150 degrees, for about three hours. How much? Right. Or how big is the pork that you're using? For a family of four, yeah. I'd say 1.2 kilo piece okay. um, is is lashings. Pork belly expensive now? No, pork belly is oh. very, very cheap. You're looking at about kind of three, four euro kilo maximum. Wow, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, with that today, we're going to do a shaved um, carrot uh, pickled salad sort of job. Yeah. Um, so in this lad, I have. Um, carrot juice and orange juice and a little bit of water. To that I'm going to add coriander seed and um, star anise. So the idea with this recipe is when you actually, when you marinate the pork and stuff, you actually make the carrots the day before, so you give them a day to mature in the pickle. All right. Oh, nice. um, pretty much with that, all you need to do is basically peel carrots and straight in. Um, this, the, say a large carrot, normal sized carrot, will cook for about kind of three to four minutes. Um, baby carrots I have here peeled, we'll cook them. You're just bringing it to the boil for about a minute and a half and these lads the shavings that That's you just did for them me. in a minute and a half it basically yeah because then the pickle liquor is going to kind of eat its way through over oh, the lovely. 24 hours um you're basically just all in and then once it's come to the boil one minute take it off again into the fridge leave on it done dusted okay when you have the next day pretty much you take it out you can actually feel the consistency of it the pickle has eaten all the way through, through the carrot. Oh, the slippery. Really different. Very different, oh, isn't it? Slippery carrot. With this then, um, then pretty much your pork is one I prepared earlier. Please be upstanding for the pork belly. So, I still can't get over the price point on that. Good pork pork belly is very, very good. Um, as you can see, basically, the, the pork, the trivet, all the juices have gone into the cider. Now with that, I'll strain it off and we we'll reduce it down. I'd roast off the bones and stuff like that in the restaurant. Um, and we make it into a kind of a nice thick jus. And we're going to serve a bit of that with it as well. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is definitely a dish to prep the day before. Day you're before, having and it's it. actually really, really cooking. They're really easy cooking then the next day. Um, with this, we're just going to add a little bit of chopped coriander, a little bit of chopped basil into our salad. Some of the chop some for you, chef. Please, actually, work away there. And very then, respectful of our yeah. chef. The man had training. He went to the trouble of getting trained, Laura. This is his position in life as a chef. Well, I'm not going to argue with you with that knife. No, not with a knife. Right, off you go. Just watch the fingers. Um, I'm going to use some of the micro herbs that I had earlier as well. Fancy. And That's your guess, huh? ah. then with oh this, God. I've done a few spuds. <laughs> I don't want a bloody dish. <laughs> You've done spuds that what other um, um pretty much you can do you can do whatever you, you want. You could just you do mash, you could do um you could do potato knocky or something like that if you want. Pork belly um, would be very rich though. Pork belly and a bit of mash might be nice. Yeah. Absolutely, or you can actually leave it and shred it and you can put it through a bit of pasta or something like that. Go for it straight in there. Why oh, certainly chef. And a little bit of olive oil. So they're just roast potatoes, are they? And they're just roast potatoes. Oil and coriander. Oil, and yeah. I'm gonna finish them with a bit of bit fresh chives. I think it's some rosemary. Uh, a bit of rosemary. A bit of rosy. A few chives, a bit of basil. Right. 
I'm going to plate open that board. Oh, good timing. Oh, right. So that's the uh, the nice thing about this is you can literally day before prep everything, and then day you leave the, the the day of you literally put cook in the pork and whatever plate or whatever you want to serve with it. Get that out of the way. I'll take a little bit of the liquor that we had from the the pickle, and we'll just dress the carrots with it. Beautiful. And in terms of slicing into the pork, how do you make sure that it doesn't disintegrate? Um, in fairness, with the with the pork belly, because you've got so much fat and sinew and it's been it, it cooked like that, it, it holds itself together yeah, very well. Slice easily. Yeah, it's kind okay. of a good sharp knife and basically just straight down the middle and you're happy out. Lovely. Plating up here and what I love about this, it's such a colourful dish visually. I mean, mm -hmm. we eat with our eyes, don't we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, it's, quite, it's one of those ones that literally pile it up on a board or a large plate, put it in the middle of the table and everybody can uh, talk the main in. event, the star of the show, Mr. Pork Belly, ladies and gentlemen. Lovely. Welcome yeah. to the show, Mr. Pork Belly. Um, <laughs> like I said, family of four, one piece, that's a kind of perfect portion size. Mm -hmm. Straight well, down. No, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, with everything else as well, it should be full up. And your tuna, yeah, you saw us. Yeah. And your tuna. You did great with the dish. Yeah. yeah. That was your dish. contribution to the dish. Well, I'd help, Laura. You know. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of shoe. That looks delicious. Thank you, Neil. Which yeah. is good to go. You made that look so easy. I'm sure it's yes, right. As always. Mm -hmm. I shall read this before I eat that. Do. Good idea. We have a treat for dog lovers next. Andrea Hayes is here with a host of pooches. Can't wait. Dig in. Thanks, Neil.